Hello children welcome you all to today's social science class In today's session we shall discuss one of the parts of social science that is business study In this part of social science we learn some basic aspects of business studies and economic activities which form the base for all business activities So let's begin the first chapter of business studies that is components of business studies. In this chapter you are going to learn the basic aspects of business studies, economic activities and its types, the different stages involved in evolution of business, the role of trade and commerce in economic development and development of commerce during 21st century. So children what is business? The term business is derived from the word busy. Thus, business means being busy. However, in specific sense, business refers to an occupation in which people regularly engage themselves with the view to earn profit. Business involves production or purchase or exchange of goods and services to satisfy the needs of people with aim to earn profit. so business is carried out in order to earn profit and also to satisfy the needs of the people the persons who are engaged in business are called entrepreneurs we all of us need food clothing and shelter isn't it so when we need all these requirements we need certain people to get us all these things related to food the farmer raises the crops in order to make these crops available to us from him in between there are many men working for it same way it refers to clothing shelter etc so from the place of production when it is reaching to the consumer in between there is the work of so many people like the wholesaler retailer manufacturer and so on so children we meet many of these requirements from the shopkeeper the shopkeeper gets from the wholesaler and the wholesaler gets from the manufacturer the shopkeeper the wholesaler and the manufacturer are doing business and therefore they are called businessmen the shopkeeper the wholesaler and the manufacturer are called businessmen business is an economic activity which is related with continuous and regular production and consumption of goods and services for satisfying human wants human beings have innumerable wants to satisfy our wants we need goods and services goods are produced by agriculture and industry we require many services also these goods and services are to be distributed among us and the activities which are concerned with the production and exchange of goods and services are called economic activities yes children what are economic activities the activities which are concerned with the production and exchange of goods and services are called economic activities economic activities can be broadly classified into three types they are profession employment and business so let's study one by one first is business business it is mainly concerned with the production and exchange of goods and services what is profession it is mainly concerned with rendering rendering in the sense providing specialized technical and personal services such as doctors teachers engineers lawyers etc and going to employment 
it is the work undertaken by the people under an employer for salary or wages example agricultural laborers industrial laborers so here who is an employer an employer is a person who appoints people to do work under him the people who are appointed to do work are called employees employer is also called the owner and the employee is called the worker so what is exchange the distribution of goods and services is called exchange exchange is the connecting link between production and consumption the goods produced at a place have to reach consumers and different places during the course of production the producers take into consideration the market study transportation storage of goods determination of price advertisement etc so when a company st- starts thinking to produce new product so it studies the market and the transportation of that good storage of goods and determination of price fixes the price of the product and advertising the product advertisement of the product etc all these aspects are included in the process of exchange today as we have money as a medium of exchange and through money exchange of goods and services is taking place the exchange system has become the foundation for business this exchange system which includes all this process okay it has become the foundation for business now moving to the evolution and growth of commerce all the economic activities of human beings is considered commerce so here you come across new word commerce what is commerce all the economic activities of human beings is called commerce this includes production business industry banking insurance agency advertisement transportation and other factors which facilitate exchange of goods and services to the consumers evolution is the gradual change of activities that takes place over a long period so you came to know what is economic activity and commerce so what is evolution evolution is the gradual change of activities that takes place over a long period not for a short period the changes takes place over a long period is called the evolution so the evolution that has taken place in commerce may be called evolution of commerce or history of business commerce is a part of business which is concerned with distribution of goods and services and here we see evolution of commerce has crossed several stages in order to achieve today's position so here we have the important stages of evolution of commerce they there are eight important stages of evolution of commerce hunting and fishing stage pastoral stage agricultural stage handicraft stage barter system stage money economy stage town economy stage and international trade stage let's study one by one first one hunting and fishing stage it was the earliest stage of human civilization which is the earliest stage of human civilization hunting and the fishing stage during this stage man was a wanderer wanderer means who have no fixed place to live okay here they there was no fixed place for him man was a wanderer he was not having any fixed place to live so he moved in groups from from one place to another in search of food they hunted animals for food fishing was also carried they gathered fruits roots and nuts for food 
they lived in caves or hollows of trees these people they lived in caves and or hollows of trees they covered their bodies with leaves or skins of the animals to protect their bodies from the sun wind and rain so here we see the people used to cover their bodies with the leaves you might have seen in national geographical channel they show okay and the skins of animals why in order to protect their bodies from sun wind and rain in this stage economic activity was not existed next stage pastoral stage during this stage people learned domestication of animals in the beginning cattle sheep and goats were reared these animals provided food to eat and skins to cover their bodies they moved from one place to another in search of grass grasslands though man had reached some higher level in development commerce did not exist in this stage of we find there is no existence there was no existence of commerce next stage agricultural stage after several years of pastoral stage people learned the art of growing some crops they started living at a fixed place they lived in groups commercial activity started the villages and communities came into existence and simple form of division of labor started in this stage they we see many changes people started to live at a fixed place they lived in groups commercial activity started villages and communities existed and simple form of division of labor division of labor work was divided in the agricultural stage in the next stage handicraft stage the agriculturists wanted some tools or implements they wanted houses to live not only agriculturists needed tools or implements to work in the field but also they needed houses to live in order to fulfill these requirements of the agriculturists there were some people who engaged themselves in making tools and also to construct houses they were called craftsmen we see carpenters blacksmith weavers builders came into existence dur- during handicraft stage they carried on the production of goods in their houses these tools and implements were produced in the houses and were supplied to the agriculturists and in return they were not paid money okay in return agriculturists provided them with their requirements and here we see barter system of exchange came into existence the fifth stage barter system of exchange what is barter system of exchange the division of labor enabled quick production of goods as i told you in the handicraft stage division of labor existed so this made when the work was divided among the people the goods were produced very quickly so the goods produced were directly exchanged and the direct exchange of goods for goods or other things is called barter system of exchange so what is barter system children a barter system is an old method of exchange the system has been used for centuries and long before money was invented people exchange services and goods for other services and goods in return okay there were some problems occurred unexpected unexpectedly as a result of direct exchange okay in the ancient times before money was invented people exchanged goods directly for other goods and this way of carrying out exchange is called barter system of exchange when this was done direct exchange was done there occurred problems and now let us study the important problems of barter system of exchange first one lack of double coincidence of wants if two parties 
exchange goods with each other we call it coincidence of wants okay if two parties exchange goods with each other okay we call it coincidence of wants but such double coincidence was rarely found example a has paddy and wants wheat b has wheat but wants jowar and b is not prepared to take paddy so children for example you have two pens and your friend has two scales you are in need of a scale and your friend is in need of a pen the exchange is done okay you can give her a pen and borrow give her a pen and you can borrow scale from her such exchange is called coincidence of exchange okay these wants are coincidence of wants such wants were rarely found okay if you have two pencils and she has a two rubbers and also pencils but you need eraser she is ready to give but she is not ready to take what you have because she already has pencil okay this here we see but a system of exchange is not possible there occurred a problem lack of double coincidence of wants this is called lack of double coincidence of wants second one lack of common measure of value it was very difficult to decide the quantity of one commodity to another for example for cow how many sheep you have seen the size of the cow and the sheep cow is large in size whereas sheep it is very small okay or for one measure of wheat how many measures of jowar etc it was very difficult to divide third problem difficulty of subdivision it was very difficult to divide some animals or things example to divide the cow for how many sheep was a big problem fourth one difficulty to store the goods or to transport the movement of goods from one place to another place was also a problem it was also difficult to preserve some goods over a long period so children these were the four important problems of the barter system of exchange now moving to money earlier in the barter system of exchange money was not introduced so children why money was invented to overcome the difficulties of barter system of exchange many mediums of exchange were used for example the skins of animals cowrie shells etc later the metals were used as a medium of exchange okay here we see in order to overcome the difficulties of the barter system of exchange money economy in the sense money was invented the metals were brought to a particular shape and weight and used as exchange medium later copper silver and gold coins came into existence here also some difficulties were experienced mainly transportation transportation in the sense carrying of money which were in the form of copper silver and gold coins now to solve this problem later paper money came in came to be used paper money is a token money which generally comprises of bank notes issued by the central bank of the country so it has the full support of the government the bank money has the full support of the government so nowadays bank money is in the form of checks we see in the form of checks drafts bills credit card debit card etc which play a very important role in business the seventh stage town economy stage 
the introduction of bank money as medium of exchange resulted as bank money was used as the medium of exchange it resulted in the fast growth of commerce people began to produce more goods the producer started meeting at a fixed place at periodical intervals for exchanging purpose they were called local markets local markets here in the figure you can see the local markets gradually these local markets developed into towns and centers in order to supply goods the merchants came into existence and they invented the craftsmen to a particular invited the craft the merchants invited the craftsmen to a particular place collected raw materials and started producing finished products and supplied to the consumers during this town economy stage commerce developed largely and markets extended far and wide now moving to the last stage eighth stage international trade stage geographical discoveries took place during 15th and the 16th centuries columbus discovered america vasco da gama discovered the new sea route to india and ferdinand magellan a portuguese navigator with the help of the king of spain set his sail to circumnavigate the world okay magellan was the first whose ship victoria sailed round the world that is why we say magellan was the first who ship sailed round the world what was the ship name ship victoria the industrial revolution which took place in england and geographical discoveries helped for large scale production of goods and not only for the local markets but also for the other countries the industrial revolution which took place in england and geographical discoveries helped for large scale production helped in order to produce goods in a large scale not only for the local markets but also for the other countries standardized goods were produced with the help of machines in the industries A revolution in transportation and communication helped for the expansion of markets and the production of goods was carried out not only for the national markets but also for the international markets so children this was about the important stages of evolution of commerce so today you studied in this chapter of components of business studies you learned the basic aspects of business studies economic activities and its types the different stages involved in evolution of business hope you understood watch this video again and again to understand the concept clearly thank you children